Uh, first off, I'm thankful for the opportunity to work here. So lame, well, it's the truth. Also, I am thankful for my family, um, my friends, my cat. Every year I'm always thankful that my family gets to come together and celebrate Thanksgiving, that we're all still here for another year. I'm thankful for my family and health, the fact that I'm able to do get up every day and do what I need to do. As I went through high school and college, I just realized that a lot of people either like fall, have falling outs with friends or just a lot of drama with their friends or they lose touch, but somehow I've managed to stay really close with the same group of girls since elementary school, so I'm really thankful to still have them in my life. My family, they're very important to me. I have four sisters and my mom, so I like spending time with them. I like that uh, I'm able to go to school and get an education. My health, and I'm still able to do what I want to do. Friends, family, but I am thankful for you. Friends and family, because better. Friends, family, my health. My friends and my family. Um, I'm thankful that I still have both my grandparents here to celebrate the holidays with me. The food that we, we are able to eat on Thanksgiving, just every opportunity that I've gotten so far. My family for the opportunities that I have and that I've gotten throughout the past year. The friends that I've made and the people that I've been surrounded by and just a bunch of stuff. I'm thankful for family. I'm thankful for good friends. I'm thankful to have a job. I don't want to be like cliche and be like, I'm thankful to be alive, even though I am. I guess I'm just thankful to like, be able to wake up every day and do what I want to do. I can come to this wonderful internship with these amazing people. I'm just happy to be alive. I guess it's always the stuff that you shouldn't take for granted, like the fact that I have a roof over my head. I'm independent. I can go and walk to the store and buy my own groceries. The resources I have, maybe like the little things. Assuming every year that we'll all be together, but you never know what could happen in a year. Maybe time. Um, I feel like I'm not really present sometimes. I think I definitely take for granted just where I am and how lucky I am to grow up in such a great place um, like the Farmington Valley. Everything. I take everything for granted. I take my socks for granted. I think I take my friends for granted the most. I think it's because we know that we're close to each other that we haven't seen each other in a while and we're like, we'll see each other and we put it off. So I should probably go home and call them tonight. The fact that I've been able to see so much of the world because of my parents. When I was little, I used to think everybody grew up the same, and then, so I think I took that for granted until I grew up and realized that's not the case. My friends and family, because like, I like to be by myself sometimes, so like, I'll just like, go days without speaking to them or like, answering them, and then I'm like, oh. Probably, like, different opportunities that come to me, like I don't take advantage of every opportunity that I see in front of me, I'll just like be lazy and let something go. I think just people in general, like I think that I assume people are always going to be there or um, I think I take for granted like the moments that I spend with people sometimes. You know, someone could be gone in a minute or a second, so I think I need to start taking that more to heart. My dad makes this um, seafood stuffing, and I love seafood. The mashed potatoes or these candy yams my grandma makes, they're delicious. They have like marshmallows in them, they're so good. That's easy. I'm gonna go with macaroni and cheese. Definitely the stuffing. Potatoes. Yeah, potatoes, because it tastes really good. Meat pie. It's so good. My mom makes it every year. Actually, she makes it twice a year. Once for Thanksgiving and once for Christmas because everyone loves it so much. After Thanksgiving, when you make a sandwich of all the food from Thanksgiving. The turkey, because I like, like meat. The turkey is like the main thing. If you don't have turkey at Thanksgiving, it's not Thanksgiving. I think I have to go with stuffing because you only get stuffing at like Christmas and Thanksgiving. And yeah, and it's one of those things you have it and you go, why don't I have this more often? I don't know. I like everything together. The gravy on the mashed, the 
potatoes. Also, I'm Asian, so like rice is involved. But then like the stuffing, and then like the turkey, and, and the corn. Oh, green bean casserole. And I used to hate green bean casserole, but um, my grandma used to make it, and now I've grown to love it. I mean, it tastes good on Thanksgiving, obviously, but stuffing, I don't think I ever eat that outside of Thanksgiving Day, so having it on Thanksgiving is like, I wake up, come downstairs, my mom and little sister are probably watching the parade on TV. So I'll just uh, have my breakfast and then we take like that two hour drive to my grandma's house. And then we, then I spend time with my cousins and my grandparents. We have dinner at like three o'clock because that makes a lot of sense. And uh, after dinner, we just hang out more with my family and then we drive home. This year I'm ready to get back into it and help my mom just prepare the meal. I rather like make the desserts. Usually I'll like bake a cake. Well I'm supposed to help my mother cook. We usually watch the parade. Sometimes we go to the parade. It starts at 9 so we'd have to get up really early and we would usually take a bus into the city and get there around 8.30 and then find a spot and then get out of there at noon. Usually it involves Stu Leonard's and getting the, the like prepared meal from that and then either some close family my aunt or my grandma's or, or my parents. My role, eat. <laughs> my brother and I, we set up the Christmas tree. I am not very helpful with the cooking. I just let my mom do it, which is selfish. My role in Thanksgiving is I bring bread because I work at an Italian restaurant with amazing bread. Like a little loaf, but I'll bring two. We're all at different houses this year, so it's gonna be a little different. And then we go back to sleep at seven, wake up probably like nine, watch the parade together while it cooks. And then my dad usually comes over around one and then he kind of just eats the food. <laughs> my role is to stay out of the way and keep my nieces occupied while the grown-ups do all the cooking. Mom makes the big breakfast and I help, I'll help her with that. Um, and then we kind of just chill for the rest of the day and then we, we'll go up to my aunt's house and we'll have dinner there. Usually I wake up and I watch the Macy's Day uh, parade. I also watch the Thanksgiving episode of Gossip Girl. I don't really do much cooking. I do more of the hanging, yeah. And the greeting when people come over. But really treat like every day is your last because you never know. I always make sure, I always remember to say I love you to my parents when I talk on the phone. No matter what, even if we're in an argument, I still say it because I don't know if they're going to still be here today or tomorrow. I think that people need to reflect on themselves a little more and just think about the impact that they have, like little impacts every single day. Ooh, I would tell them to stop caring about little things that are irrelevant and just to enjoy life and the people that you have around you. Kind of make sure you, you don't think that you're always doing things perfectly. You know, maybe they see someone less fortunate, like they should be thankful for what they have because they're seeing someone else who doesn't. I would just say to people to look at their lives and see what they have versus what other people don't have. I just have Hamilton in my head, you know, where it's like, look around and look around and how lucky we are to be alive right now. I feel like I would just ask them what they're thankful for and I feel like I'd tell them, well, you should be thankful for more than that because there are a lot of great things in this world you should be thankful for. I read this somewhere, so <laughs> don't give myself all the credit. If every morning you just write down three things that you're thankful for, the point of that is so you have a better day and that that's how you begin your day. You'll keep those things in mind as you like go about your daily activities. Remember all the blessings that you have and really try not to take the little things for granted. Like you should just be happy for like to literally wake up every single day because it's 2016 has been rough. I would look around and see what you really have and see what you really, what's important. Just figure out what's important. Take a breath is that you can just like go out for a walk, look around you, it's not the end of the world, you can still go out and get some fresh air, and then, you know, just look at who you're surrounded by.